So I've got the green screen set up. If you didn't see that video, there is a link below. So you can go and see that video, perhaps watch that after this one. You can also click on the subscribe below if you want to keep up to date with my other videos on working from home and filming from home and other tech things as well. I've got a whole load on Microsoft Office and iPads and iPhones and things like that. But anyway, we're here in Zoom now and what I want to show you is how the virtual background works and it's really quite straightforward. I have to point out, which I did in the earlier video, that not all devices and computers support virtual backgrounds and green screens. So there is a link below this that takes you to a page on the Zoom website that shows you all the compatible devices, operating systems and things like that. So you can go and check that out. So here I am, I'm going to do this first on the computer, which is the MacBook Pro, but it does work on other computers as well, like Windows, assuming they're compatible. And I've also got the iPad Pro here, which I'm going to show you on here too. So let's just start here. So what I'm going to do is click here. You see here, I moved the mouse over and it came up with my menu bar down at the bottom. It says stop video here. There's an arrow next to it. I click on it and choose virtual background. I have it ticked that my green screen option is switched on. I'm just going to switch that off for a moment. You can do this virtual background without the green screen, but it just works so much better with a green screen. If you haven't got a green screen, just have the plainest background you've got to do this. The messier it is, or rather the busier it is, the harder this is to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to choose any background here. Let's choose this one. These are ones that come with it. There's three images and two that are video so that they play in the background. So you'll see that if I've got this switched on and I move my hand around, you can see it's doing a funny effect like it's becoming invisible that it's not there. So if you're trying to show something to somebody, then that's not going to work particularly well. If you've got the green screen, this is the difference it makes. Can you see? My hand doesn't break up like that anymore. So green screen off, it breaks up, green screen on, and it's so much better. There's another option here that you might be interested in, which is the mirror my video. That comes on by default. And you'll see that if I raise my left hand, it comes up for me on the left hand side of the screen. If I switch that off, then it's coming up on the other side of the screen, which could be a bit confusing. So for me, I'm going to mirror my video. Okay, so I've got these backgrounds here. I can choose to use the video ones. So you can see that's the Northern Lights and this one is some nice beach scene. But you can use your own as well. So if I wanted to add an image as a background, I just click on this little plus sign here and choose Add Image. Click here on the image, click Open. There you go, that's Sydney Harbour Bridge with the fireworks, you can't see it all. Actually just there you can see the Opera House. You see, because it was mirrored, I knew where to point, whereas if it was the other way around, I wouldn't be able to do that. You can add a video as well. The video doesn't have to be too long. It does loop, and uh, it, that, so that uh, you don't have to worry about it stopping. So if I click here, choose Add Video, I'm going to choose this one, which is of some graduates throwing their hats in the air. Um, that could be distracting, so you probably want a background that's not too distracting. But nevertheless, the reason I've chosen it is because it's short and it's going to loop back through and you'll see the hats getting thrown in the air again. So if you don't have a green background, you can actually select the background. If it hasn't come up quite right, uh, maybe it's a type of green or the you know, green comes in different shades as well. Just click on this little button here and you can now just select the color in the background. So for me, that really didn't make any difference. Some people have blue backgrounds. You can have other colors as well, but blue and green tend to work best. The reason why is blue and green tend to not be prevalent in our skin tones, unless perhaps we're not very well. Um, so that's one of the reasons it works. Why green over blue? Blue tends to be more common um, in clothing. So people, if they're wearing jeans and things like that, might affect it. Green tends to be not so common, but if you do like wearing green, then you might want a blue background. So that's the reason for those. Okay, so once I've done that, I if I come out of it, that is now here as my background. Let's just come out of this meeting because I want to show you how this works on a tablet device or a phone that's compatible. 
So I've got the iPad Pro here. I'm now just going to go into a meeting here. So you can see me there. And I, it's just green at the moment. If I tap on the three dots in the top right, you'll see it comes up with virtual background. Now, if you don't see those, it means your device isn't compatible. And as I said, there's a link below to find all of that. So if I click on virtual background, you see it comes up here. I'm just going to tap on the three dots at the top. It's got the green screen selected. So if I was to choose one of those other backgrounds, let me get myself in here, you'd see it have the same problem of possibly my fingers breaking up, although it's doing a pretty good job. Let's just choose a background here. So there we go. Where's my hand gone? Yeah, there we are. But I can tap here and just switch on the green screen. And again, it's got this little eyedropper here. So I can choose if it happens to be a different color. I can add in another image. Notice that it's just images here. So I can go into plus here over there and down at the bottom and it comes up with my photos here and I could choose something. Oh, let's choose this one here. Let's just hit done. Happens to be our cat watching television. That could be a bit of a distracting background, but nevertheless, Let's go for this one here, which is just some plants in the background. So there you go. That's how you can add them in. You can see they stay down here. If you want to get rid of one that's yours that you've put in, you just tap and hold and then you click on remove and that will get rid of that. OK, so there you go. That's how the virtual backgrounds work. If you've got a device or computer that's compatible with it. And as you can see from the previous video, that's where the green screen comes in. That's how to set it up. And now you can see the difference that the green screen makes to your videos. If you don't want to get a green screen, you can get put up some other backgrounds as well. There's a company called Lastalight. There's many others. I've got a link below to some backdrops. You can just use plain white or black. Today we're using Zoom so much, you may not want to have things in the background that can be distracting. Or if they're, you know, some people, they're working from home. Maybe they've got things going on in the background. Maybe they're decorating or maybe there's the laundry there. So this is a really good way to actually get around it. You don't need the green screen, but as you can see, it just worked a lot better. Thanks for watching. So don't forget below this video is the link to the Zoom website with compatible devices. There's also the link to the video setting up the green screen. And there's also the subscribe button below. Click on subscribe and keep up to date with all the videos that I'm making. Stay safe and thanks for watching.